temptation. Are you with me? This knowledge will not insulate you from temptation. Temptation will come. But you see, when that temptation comes, the temptation will not be able to deceive you. You know, the Bible says that Adam was not deceived. It was Eve that was deceived. Adam was awake and aware. Are you with me? But Adam consciously yielded. But Eve was deceived into yielding. So I need to tell you the difference between Adam's matter and Eve's matter. Because Eve was seduced. Eve was deceived. Adam was not deceived. But Adam. So Adam's own was rebellion. Eve's own was deception. And because Eve was deceived, even in the New Testament church, they are... You will not like it. Let's leave it. You won't like that one. <laughs> ah! You, you, you accuse me, so... <laughs> I still want to be your friend now, for now. <laughs> there are several... Hey! Oh, let's leave that. It's, it's a digression. It's heavy. It's too heavy. Are you with me? Okay, there are several offices of leadership in the body of Christ that women will not be able to occupy in isolation because of that. And that is a prescriptive report of Paul. Paul said because the woman was the one that was deceived. And it was not the man that was deceived. Are you with me? Are you, you are not here. Because of that, it affects her placement even in the church. Because she has a propensity for deception. That's why, are you, are you seeing? I will balance it, don't worry, I will balance it. I will balance it, don't worry. That's why, when you look, go to the book of uh, First Timothy, when the prescription was given for how people could be elders. Are you still here? Yes, sir. The prescription was that you had to be a husband of one wife. Do you realize that there was a total omission? There was no, Paul was not expecting a woman to. So there's no formula for women. Okay, let me. Let me leave. <laughs> it, it, that thing is because of the fact that she was the one that was deceived. Does that mean that women cannot be elders? No. Because the Bible says she shall be delivered through childbearing. She shall be delivered from that restriction. She can actually come into eldership. But uh, she will be delivered from this my prescription through childbearing. That means based on the experiences she has survived some maturity would have been formed in that woman she might be anointed but that is not a criteria after that anointing has also gone through a process she will now be delivered from this prescription and she can now become a leader because there was a solution that was attached to her faith that nevertheless Sha, when she has giving birth physically and also giving birth to children spiritually and she has done the work of upbringing or mentorship and discipleship for a long time the capacity for her to be deceived will be reduced to the barest minimum in those circumstances and under those circumstances she can now become a leader now should i say something i okay i have digressed but let me continue it is biblically wrong for a woman to be a head of a ministry. Even if the woman is called, she must submit that calling to her husband. The man may not be called, but the man should stand in the front. Hey, have I offended you so much like this? Because of her propensity to deception. She has to submit that ministry to a man. And that's why I need to come and teach us what a man is and what a woman is. And just in case you are a man, accept to be a man. Huh? And just in case you are a woman, accept your role as what? She's the one that is a cult, she's the one that is a prophet, but you have to submit that ministry under a man. That means she cannot run that ministry until her husband, first of all, gives her permission. The husband may not be born again. Let her intercede.
and wait for